interesting eco device, that, that complication, that trying to get us away from that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that to me is um, just unending. But I like the fact that you said it's never been any different than that. It mm -hmm. looks maybe fancy or schmancier because it's addressing maybe another language that can hook you because you think I'm st uh, this journey is bringing me home. You know what I mean? Yeah. In other words, it becomes another uh, personality that looks more f appropriate and fitting so that we'll fall for it. Yeah. It's just, it's like the ego is the multiplication of images. It's like, it's just a belief, but the world of images keeps seemingly multiplying and yeah. multiplying. Thank you. Yes. And over and over. But one times zero is zero, a hundred times zero is zero, a billion, a trillion times zero is still zero. It doesn't, is nothing is really getting any more complicated because it's and nothing's just nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. It's just an yeah. illusion. Yeah, that's and that gets back to the serenity prayer. You know, if somebody says, "Well, the course sounds interesting, but it's 1,200 pages, and I don't know that I'm ready for that." How about the serenity prayer? You know, what can you change? Your mind. Yeah. What can't you change? The world. And what is the wisdom that knows the difference between that? <laughs> the real and the unreal, but the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So if you want to com com collapse the whole Course in Miracles down into one prayer, that, that is your serenity prayer. Yeah. It's to accept things as they are right now, yourself, the meaning, eternal, changeless, unending, and to let go of the attempt to rearrange the illusion. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, it's just, it's trying to rearrange the impossible. David, in our last four minutes, the connecting with the Holy Spirit. Now, can you talk a little bit more? We, we talk about releasing, but we're still addressing, we're, or we're moving into the Christ mind. Does it take words? Does it take anything but the surrender? It takes desire. Desire, and that's a what, little willingness. Yeah, the willingness, the desire, that is the, that's where the surrender comes from. That's where yeah. the, the seeming Now, that's flip. not asking too much. No, that's, in <laughs> fact, that's, that's, if there's anything you could ask for, it's just saying, just God. Just a little. Right. <laughs> Like, Help me to remember myself, and yeah. that's what it really comes down to. Yeah, and so the Holy Spirit, can you help our friends with the Christ mind, we're home, we're in eternity, and the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Is that a part of it, a, a side of it, or it's the one that acknowledges or can see what we're doing, <laughs> but doesn't see it, oh, and yet could, is home? Yeah, you could say it's like a, an, an illusion of a dual function. In other words, the Holy Spirit remembers heaven and Christ yeah. and God, but there's an aspect that seems to see the error but know that it's not real. Right, so okay. it looks past the defiled altar and just sees the light. Now it also says that, the, there's an, that there's an aspect of the Holy Spirit that will remain forever with Christ and of course that's the eternal aspect. So yeah. the voice for God will disappear into reality. In other words, yeah. a voice is very specific. Words are still very specific. That's the part of the illusionary aspect of the Holy Spirit. And what is, is just oneness. Yeah. So there will come a point where it's not, I ask the Holy Spirit, but I, the Holy Spirit, I, the whole Spirit, am as God created me. Yeah. And that would be, we could so say. So the asking the will, <laughs> it, it can yet go. Yes. 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 Now we use that for a while. We have been using the Holy Spirit. We've been asking, oh, please help me remember. Please help mm -hmm. me remember it. But that the point will come when we just will remember. Yes. We'll sink into it without even that step. Right. The end of the Holy Spirit is the yeah. end of time. Oh, there. And, that's perfect. And, that's, and that is now. Yeah. So that's what we can say is that's where it comes to just an experience of beingness. There's yeah. no asker and esky. Ask There's no being that's above and being that's below doing the asking in the eternal now. Yeah. Important that you said that. Yes. That, um, that was, that's yet another step. Mm -hmm. Saying, I'm not there and I can't do it by myself. When, in fact, we are itself. We are mm. it. Yes. We're yes. it. Holy. Holy. <laughs> Holy, yes. Holy child of God. Yeah. Yes. And we're all the same. Yes. Hmm. One mind. Yeah. One mind is, is everything. Nothing apart from that mind. So when we forgive Jesus the illusion, it's that wasn't the accent was, we can do this journey as a man. It was, that wasn't what it was about. Right. 
That wasn't what it was about. That was the story. That was the story. The Christ mind is the actuality, is, is now, is here and now. Yeah. That's what it means to accept the atonement. That's, that's the correction. From the story, the horizontal perspective, to the vertical perspective. Yeah. If anybody has problems with the cross, just forget all the stuff about crucifixion and sacrifice and blood of the Lamb. The vertical and the horizontal, the vertical remains. The horizontal yes. is gone. Well said. That's a beautiful way to wrap up this program until we talk again yes. next week. Yes. Thank you, my friends, for joining us on Awaken the Dream. We will have David back next week. Thank you. <laughs>